Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again today with another recipe for you. This recipe is a classic in the South and it's called smothered chicken. I love smothered chicken and I'm pretty sure everybody loves smothered chicken with that gravy, that thick, delicious, mouth-watering gravy that goes over rice and over biscuits. So what I'm going to do is show you how I do it. First, I will get some flour like this. I will season it with black pepper, salt, paprika, garlic, and garlic powder, and onion powder. And I will season that like that. And then I will fry the chicken. But what I will do with the chicken, I will let it sit about maybe two or three hours with black pepper and salt and maybe a little garlic powder or onion powder. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to use some of this flour that we use to season the chicken with. We're going to use the oil, and this is the oil that's left over with the crumbs. And we're not going to use all of this oil. We're going to take some of this oil out. Pull it over here just a little bit. And we're going to use some of this oil, and we're going to do a small little roux. This is a little roux that you do to make that gravy just like this. You don't want a brown brown roux, we just want a light brown roux. And plus the crumbs from frying the chicken, it's going to give it a color also. So just stir it up like this, a little roux from the south. Might need a little bit more flour in there. Messy, mess a little bit. You know, people like everything so decent and in order, which is, I love the things in decent and order, but sometimes when you cook, you cannot be in decent order. You're going to have to spill something, waste something, put too much of something. You're not going to be perfect, perfect. You're going to be just like country cooking. This is what I like doing. Country cooking, it tastes better for you, it's good for you and everything. You know, uh, I remember someone that has a very good, clean and perfect kitchen. They couldn't cook. They, their food wasn't good. For some reason, they had the perfect kitchen, but their food was not delicious. It was bland. And we tried to show this person how to season things. But don't mess my kitchen up. We'll drop a little flour. Oh, don't put flour on my counter, you know. So it's kind of hard to work with a professional, professionist when it comes to a kitchen. So what we're doing is letting this... Uh, come to a good color here. You notice this is my favorite pan. So we, I think this is just the way we want it. Maybe just a little bit more flour. You don't want it too thin and you don't want it too uh, thick either. So it's coming to a ball. The crumbs is in the color to the broth of the gravy. There you go. Now that's what you want. You want to do it just like that. That's a good color. Depends on what color you want. And that's what cooking is all about too. It depends on what do you want in your dish. Experiment with different things. Because someone give you a recipe, you can always experiment with it. You can always add something to it or take something out that you don't like. Okay, this is almost the color that I like to have it. Maybe a little bit more browner. Just a little bit more. Okay. Now, in my smothered chicken, I add mushrooms. And I add onion. And I add red bell pepper and green bell pepper. These are essentials to my cooking. Because these peppers and onions are very healthy for your diet. A lot of people don't use a lot of bell pepper and onions, but I tell you what, they are so healthy for you. Okay, this is getting by what we want. Yeah, it's getting that color now. Look at that color. That's what you want, that color right there. That's a beautiful color. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add our onion and bell pepper, just like this. Stir it a little bit at a time. Don't worry, because it's balling up like that. Just like that. This is good eating, I'm telling you. Very good eating. Stir it up like that. See that roux? 
that roux makes those onions and those black peppers season. So we're gonna add some salt. I like using salt like this because I have a control of using the salt. If I dip it like that, I won't have that control. And I like using the pepper like this. I have control of how much I want to put in my dish by just using my hand. Boy. Okay, this is getting kind of salt. That's what you want. This dish is so popular in the South, smothered chicken. I'm telling you, some people can cook the best smothered chicken in the whole world, but this is one of a good recipe also. So we're gonna let that cook just a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit more of that oil that we've got from previous. That's a little because we're gonna add our mushrooms because mushrooms takes up a lot of oil. Little mushrooms in there like that and stuff there. This is a great chicken. You're gonna love this chicken. The company, the dinner, whatever you like, you know. I like to cook different things that people like. And this is one of the dishes they always ask me to cook. One of these dishes, the smothered chicken. Okay, now we're gonna add some more salt, probably, because the mushroom needs salt. So how do I control that? I like to control that with the salt. Then some more black pepper. Like that. Okay. Now we're letting this cook. See how the mushrooms take all the oil away? That's okay. It's gonna be fine. So we're letting that saute a little bit. And then we're gonna add our garlic. I always add garlic last because garlic has a tendency to burn. And we'll put about two Two and a half teaspoons of garlic in there. Look at that. Mmm, you can smell the aroma. When the garlic hit, oh boy, the onions know where to go. They'll say, well, I smell the garlic. Let me get to the garlic. That's what it does. Okay, what we're doing is just letting this simmer just a little bit. And you know it's going to be a part two because I can't get all of it in one segment. So that's part two of this. So what we're going to do is let this simmer just a little bit. Okay, like that. It smells so good. Look, it smells so good. Now at this point, you can put any spice that you want in here. You can make it spicy. You can add more flavor into it. But this is just a regular southern way. Okay, now what we're going to do now is add some chicken broth. A whole can of chicken broth. Put a dish like that. Wow, that chicken broth is blending in with everything. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. A smothered southern style Sandra's chicken. Okay, we'll let that do like that. Look at that. See that? Now, this is where you can taste it. And see, do it need anything else in it? Let's taste it. Let's see. Oh, a little bit more salt. A little bit more salt in there. Just a little bit more. And a little bit more pepper, black pepper. I'm not going to put peppercino in this because uh, it's not called for peppercino, <laughs> which is my favorite. Okay, what we're doing now is letting this warm up, get together. Look at that. That looks so good already. Okay. The garlic in there with that. Okay, while that's doing that, we're going to add a cup of milk. Yes, put the milk in there like that. Oh, wow. Great dish. You can come up with some dishes, man, I tell you. Okay, now someone asked me, is men's best cooks or women's best cooks? I think both. <laughs> you can put men together with a woman and they cook good. And you put a woman with a man that can cook good. If they separate them, they still cook good. It's just that whoever put a recipe together and it turns out good, that's the best cook. 
don't be frustrated because you can't get something done the way you want it. Try it again. Try to dish two or three times until you get it perfection like I do. If something messed up, hey, I just try over again. Okay, now, we're letting that get to a ball. Now, what I did, I fried the chicken already, and I fried it pre-cooked. I didn't cook it all the way through. So, I'm using leg quarters. I love leg quarters in smothered chicken. The reason why is because you get a whole piece of chicken. <laughs> you get the thigh and the leg, and that's a whole meal. And plus, they be economical. You can buy economical, excuse me, and you can buy a lot of it and make a lot of this dish. See the mushrooms in there? Oh, look at that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is this. We're going to move this to the side. And we're going to put our Dutch oven up here. The Dutch oven is where we're going to leave the chicken. So we'll put the chicken face down like that. Face down like that. I just cooked enough for four people. And then we're going to pull this on top. We'll pull it on top like that. And we're going to put a little water and clean the pot. Okay, now this is my favorite pan in my whole kitchen. Besides my cast iron skillet, but this is my favorite. Because the, let me cut this off. because the gravy is going to be kind of thick, so just put a little bit more water in there like that, and then kind of raise the chicken up, and then let the suspects get underneath the chicken, and what we're going to do next is add some more onions on top, we love onions, we're going to add more onions on top. Onions we love. And then we're going to add some more black pepper. And we're going to add some more salt. Like that. And then we'll add some paprika. Give it a little color. Paprika, just a little, not too much. And we're going to add some parsley flakes. See, it's coming to a ball already. Ooh, the parsley looks good. And what we're going to do is kind to let this simmer for about 30 minutes. And then we're going to come back and let you see what the finished result is. Cut it down, let it simmer. Put the top on top. And hey, this is Sandra. I'll be back with a smothered southern style chicken thighs. I call it chicken uh, little quarters and we'll come back and let you see the results. This is Sandra. Happy eating.